1970 Chevrolet short bed C10 CST it's got the big block factory big block um, the truck was a one odor truck found on a farm in Greene County Georgia by the gentleman that I bought it off of I'll do the best I can to do a walk around. The truck does have rust, but it's not as bad as some trucks I've seen. It had a wood floor bed, and it was patched with metal over top of the wood. And as you can see, it has uh, aftermarket wagon wheels on it. Everything else is pretty much untouched. I'll try to do the best I can to show you the truck. As you can see, the lower part of the fender on the driver's side is pretty decent. Factory emblems. Tiny bit of rust there on the bottom. The fender. Rocker panels has the... Surprisingly, they're not all rotted out, but they do have rust, and so do the cab corners. The bed is very restorable as well. The wheel wells are in decent shape, no rust. Try to get an undershot here. Floor supports are decent. Floor pan has some issues on the driver's side. Frame's in good shape. So we'll walk around here, it has a 12 bolt rear. It is a 307 open rear. The tailgate is shot, I would say. So is the rear bumper. As you can see the rust in the tailgate. You can get them relatively cheap aftermarket now. The tailgate does work. As you can see, somebody put metal over top of the wood bed floor. One of the pieces of trim there that belongs on the side of the truck. The front bulkhead is in decent shape. Wheel housings, they're not rot rusted, but they do have some dents. If I was going to do it, I'd just replace them because they're cheap. Here's the passenger side of the bed. Bed is in excellent shape replace it with a new bed floor and you're good to go does have a little dent there where the dent it must have slid and hit the uh, tire that could be pulled out no problem as you can see the passenger side cab corner is shot I'd replace the rocker as well lower patch on the fender let's take a look at the mounts on this side as you can see supports are in great shape under there let's take a look at the other ones wasp nest there. That support's in great shape. This floor is in great shape over there, so is the frame. Original emblems. Lower fender. Broken windshield. Um, the drip well, the drip edge here has surface rust, but it's not rotted real bad. It does have a little pinhole there. It's all original paint. Looks to be an original dark blue. Surface rust on the hood, but the hood is usable. The grill does have a little dent on the lower right side. That could be popped out. And it still has the Georgia plate. Antique tag. Looks like it was last registered in 05. Broken windshield. 
original big block. I did put a new battery and uh, new points, cap, rotor, coil, and I put an aftermarket Otto Brock 750 on there because the carburetor was shot. I just wanted to get the truck running. It does need to be going over. You can see the new XL coil and cap and wires. I also put new front wheel cylinders and new brake lines front and back. The rubber brake lines were collapsed. I don't have the compressor for the air condition, but the brackets are there and the original manifolds are there. And the truck, I'm told, is the original engine. The numbers are on the deck. That one rim is uh, painted because a friend of mine mounted the tires for me and he decided to go overboard. I did change the rear oil too. Um, I pulled the cover off and you can see that. There you go. And the truck has rare rear leaf springs. Factory rear leaf springs, which is really it was a special order item. And uh, still has the original spiral shocks on it. Let's see. Take a look. The original spid sheet, which identifies what options the truck came with, was in very poor shape. I found the person that reproduces them. And once I deciphered what was on the sheet, I actually had the, it reproduced. And I have that here. As you can see, I left the original one so people could see it. I used a magnifying glass and very bright lights and some rubbing alcohol to find out what was on there. And here is what was on there. As you can see, the truck came with their 396 V8 factory tachometer. It was dark blue. And you see the floorboards in the upper right corner. That was, uh, you know, the wood floor, the radio, dual horns, blue vinyl trim rear leaf springs, power steering and all, and air conditioning and the body side moldings, door edge guards and front stabilizer and brake booster equipment, turbo hydromatic. And uh, I didn't add anything to it. You can see it's a factory 115 inch wheelbase, which is a short bed. And I also had them do an original dealer invoice. This is the window sticker. And it has all the prices on there. And we found out what dealership, as you can see, Bill Nash, Chevrolet, Georgia. And, uh, anyway, I didn't put the sticker on yet, but I left the original one there so everybody could see that nothing was changed. I'm going to fire it up now. Not many trucks like this around. Factory big block. Short bed to boot. Usually they're three quarter ton long beds. Let's see. There's the factory tack. Original mileage on this truck is 91,000 miles, as you can see, and it has not been turned over. The factory tack does work. Um, I don't know if the fuel gauge is working. I don't think it is. You can see the steering wheel shot. But uh, the headliner's still here. As you can see, the windows do wind down. Let's fire the truck up. Tachometer does work. This truck has not run in years, and I pumped the fuel out what was in it and went over the whole thing. And, and it's amazing how these old Chevys just fire up after sitting. A little TLC. Not bad for 1970. I did put a new master cylinder on it as well, and I still 
think I'm going to put rear wheel cylinders on it because the rear brakes don't feel like they're working. Uh, that's the original radiator. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a four core radiator. Like I said, most of the air components are still there. Does need rewiring, and notice the wiring is a mess. See all the air parts there. And not bad. Not many uh, original factory big block short beds around. Truck needs full restoration, obviously. But you have a complete truck to start with. I mean, listen to that truck idle. It's amazing. Another shot of the bed for you. All this is just tack welded in. I, I was just going to take the wizard wheel and cut it all out and put the factory uh, wooden floorboards back in. See the uh, cargo light? That was an option as well. It came with uh, certain packages though. The vinyl seats in pretty good shape. And here's the floor pan. As you can see, they sell a section. It's very cheap. It's like 20 bucks or something for the outer floor pan. It's just the outer. And you see it has the original bolt-in uh, floor pan hump there for the big block. And the seat does work. The adjustment for the seat moves up and back. The original uh, custom sport truck door panels. Does have this as well, that light. It's another part of the package. Custom sport truck package. Factory tack is really a rare option on this truck. It's pretty cool that they ordered it. I did repair a wire on the uh, on the fuel gauge last night and that might have gotten it working. Yeah, I found the broken wire. But it is reading almost empty now. It was reading full before. So that might be working now. Locking gas cap, there's no rust at all in the gas tank. But the truck, I had to actually cut rivets off the rear drums to remove the one drum, actually. So it doesn't look like they were ever off. But, uh, this would be a great restoration project, and uh, I bought it to do that, but I have another vehicle in the garage that I wish to restore, 1967 Chevelle Super Sport. And I'm thinking about selling this, so that's why I'm making this video. The price is right. The truck is gone. Another thing, the oil pressure is really good. I wish I was surprised. Let's take a look. Okay, that's about... 900 RPMs. Okay. Not bad. As you can see, the windshield shot. And here's the other side of the drip rail. You can see right here, you got a little bit of rust there. Not a big deal. Can be easily repaired, and, and a new seal or seam seal are put in there. And uh, another spot where it likes to rust out is along this windshield. As you can see, it's not rusty. So, all along the windshield is great, great condition. The truck's very restorable and be an easy restoration. The bed moved around a little bit because it's not bolted tight because the wood is rotting away. So the bed's actually moving a little bit, and you can see that's why that's like that. Then you can see the truck is six lug. It is a 1970. 71 they went to five lug and they went to disc brakes. This is four wheel drum power. And I'm not sure if there's holes in the air cleaner or factory or not, they look like it. Hey, you know, I'll take a little shot of uh, 
safe. The deck of the engine here. Can't really see anything. You see the original uh, serial number plate here, there, as well. The rivets haven't been changed. The truck hasn't been tampered with at all, as you can see. Serial number matches. As you can see. And that's on here as well. Okay, 15 minutes is long enough. I think you saw enough of the truck. And uh, hopefully it gets a new home. If not, it's not a bad thing for me to keep it. Thank you very much.